Hi, my name is Maher Lewis, and I'm going to show you how to get some uh, some intersecting intersection label styles that are very useful, and an alignment name label style that is also very useful from the internet. Okay, uh, first you want to go to uh, your your web search engine, type in um, uh, the pro the uh, website is called Mastering. Civil 3D 2009, and uh, the, the the website that you're looking for uh, is called Wiley. I don't see. Oh, here it is. That's it right there. Okay. Uh, there's a tab right here called Downloads. Click on that. And then chapter 12, it's uh, 28, 28.75 megabytes. Download it by clicking this HTTP, HTTP, and then put it on your desktop. Um, I don't have to; I've already done it. File. Let's open up that uh, the the download that you you downloaded, chapter 12. Okay. And. The drawing that I want you to look at is called Corridor Pier Intersection Finish. So just open that up. Mine is the 2008 version, but don't worry about it. Uh, this window says, okay, well, it's 2008 version. Let's update all our AEC objects to 2009. Fine, say okay. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's uh, 2008 or 2009. All right, this is one label style, which gives you the alignment station and elevation of the surface and then this one is is uh, another one that I use for intersection design which is the alignment station alignment name and station and the elevation of the profile at a point along that alignment between two intersecting alignments okay and the third one is this uh, label called alignment name which is this one is labeled on a curve. You can have a alignment name label on a line, which this file does have. Once you downloaded it, once you've downloaded it from this FTP site, chapter 12, that's it. That's the file. Okay. So uh, let's uh, let's bring it over to one of our, my drawings. I'm working on this drawing currently. Um, okay. Um, so here you have your drawing open. You have the drawing that has the labels in it below yours. Go to settings. Okay. Go to alignment. Go to label style. Go to line. Open it up. See that one right there? Alignment name. That's the one. Drag it over. I already have it. I'm going to overwrite. Curve. Alignment name. Bring it over. Align override. No need. Station offset. See this one right here? Intersection center line label. Bring it over. For me, I have to override because I already brought these in earlier. Again, now the next one. Intersection EOP, which is edge of pavement label. Override. Okay. Now you have those labels in there. I'm going to close this one. I went to my prospector tab, select that one we downloaded from the internet, say no, I don't want to save it. Alright, let me just delete these because I don't need them. Okay, so let's start labeling. Uh, first thing you want to label, I recommend labeling is the alignments, that way you know what you're dealing with. So go to the alignment pull down menu, add alignment labels, add alignment labels. It'll be what is the feature or the object that you want to label. I select the alignment. First thing is going to be a single segment. A single segment of that alignment would be a line, a curve, or a spiral. It's one of those three. Okay. Uh, the label line style, uh, you have a bunch of options. The one that you want is the alignment name. Again, that's for a line. Next one is a curve. The label style, when you want, alignment name. Spiral. Like I said, there's three components, three different types 
uh, segments that go into a, 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 an alignment object in the spiral, which I don't have an alignment name for the spiral label file, but that's okay. All right, let's go add. We're gonna choose this one, we're gonna choose that one. These are the two alignments that intersect to a point right there. Okay, done. First one's called highway edge of pavement, the other one's called main highway. Similar name naming convention with the HWY abbreviation for highway. Anyways, it doesn't make any difference. Okay, let's label the intersection. Um, again, same pull down menu. Now you're going to go to station offset. And these are the two that we downloaded, uh, that we brought over. Intersection, center line label, intersection, edge pavement label. We'll do the center line. Okay, add. It says select an alignment. I'm going to select this one. Specify station. We're going to choose the intersection. And we're going to go zero offset. Select another alignment. Oh, now it says select the profile. Well, we already know this is called Highway Edge of Pavement, so we'll do the Highway EOP final grade. That's it. Now select elect, uh, alignment number two. Let's select that one. It's asking for a profile for alignment number two, which again, highway main highway, so it's main highway profile. So okay, done. So there you go. That's your label. Now, uh, what is the first thing you notice? when you look at this label well the elevations are more than a foot from each other so when they intersect they intersect one higher by a foot than the other so as a guy is driving down this road he's going to catch air as soon as he hits this intersection and we're talking about a foot plus of, uh, of air and uh, you don't want that okay most projects when you have alignments that intersect uh, intersect at the same elevation okay we're not going to edit it uh, to any extent this is the end of my demonstration this is the tool that I I like to use for designing my intersections obviously you can see there's a problem and then this is another label which is very useful that way when you have two designers designing one is designing the the main highway and the other one's designing the edge of pavement you want them to intersect they are going to intersect at the same elevation. You got to know which alignment is which, and then you have to know what the elevation of that intersecting profile is. And that concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.